All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don here. What up, yo? We are Break Room Blitz. We went on a little bit of a hiatus, had some technical difficulties, but we are back in action for sure. So every Tuesday, and uh, Tuesday we do it live, and then Saturday morning you'll see our videos here. Time uh, for the well. cartoons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so. Today, oh, before I start, I want to tell you guys, if any, any time in this video, even right now, if I made you smile or we made you smile, go hit that like button. If we made you think, go ahead and comment. And if you just enjoy us and you want to see us all the time, go ahead and hit that notification button with that bell uh, notification to our subscription with the bell notification. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. So let's get down to it. Uh, we just went to go see Only the Brave. Uh, it's directed by Joseph Kosin. Kosinski? Kosinski? I'm not uh, good with my European name too much, so... Right. <laughs> it is pretty much a life story or true story true of a group of firefighters mm -hmm. that, um, you know, they, I guess they earned their stripes, mm -hmm. and then tragically, you know, they were burned alive, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, uh, one of the uh, more tragic events of uh, firefighters, um, you know, dying in the line of duty uh, from the events of 9-11. So that just kind of puts into perspective how many firefighters died. Oh, you mean like it's the most that have died since 9-11? Since 9-11, yeah. All right, right. Mm -hmm. It's not from 9-11. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with 9-11. These are our forest fighters. Right, right, right. Um, forest firefighters. So Joseph... Kosinski, I can't, Kosinski, man, sorry about his name, uh, he seems to be doing these type of movies, that's all the true, true story movies, you know, so this is like his little thing, his, his niche, his niche, I don't yeah. know what else he does, he's doing great, but I keep seeing movies from him that seem to be true life stories, and I honestly, it is a, it's a, it's a, it's refreshing to be able to step back mm -hmm. and be able to appreciate your, your own life, and then what others do in order to save your life, you know, so it's right. it's not all blockbuster ish, you know. This is this is true, you yeah. know. These things actually happen, you know. Mm -hmm. So it kind of for me anyway, put my life into perspective, mm -hmm. you know, to make sure I do all the things that I want to do, live my life to the fullest, mm -hmm. you know, because we have people out here that are actually, you know, giving their lives right. for us, you mm -hmm. know. So I thought it was it's just a it's a it's a nice. Um, I guess vacation from all the blockbusters. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah. this is going to be something that you want to watch, you know, because you just want to, you know, I guess get away from all that crap that they've been putting out this year. <laughs> oh, we got a viewer right there. What's up, yo? What up? <laughs> um, so I'm just going. I'm just going in overall rating what I thought about it. Right. Um, I thought that it was very heartfelt. Mm -hmm. I thought that the acting was 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 pretty good. I thought that. Um, the the character development needed some work, but I don't I don't want to ding it too much because if this is a true story, then it, that's what it happened and that's what happened. Right. You know, like I can't ding it for like oh why did he you know become a better person or whatever you know so mm -hmm. I don't want to ding it too much, but I would have liked just a little bit because I and I also felt that they kind of like embellished some things. Sure. Yeah. You know, as far as like conversations that they might have had, mm -hmm. um, maybe like the friendships, the dynamics. Mm -hmm. um, so, but overall, I thought it was pretty good. I won't say that there's any rewatch value for me. Um, it was, it did make me sad. It was kind of a tearjerker. Mm -hmm. I will admit that. I was like, oh man, the air conditioner. <laughs> it's so hot in here. Blowing my eye. <laughs> man, all this dust. This debris. <laughs> right. <laughs> But, um, so it did, you know, I thought that it did, um, I guess, it, it, it did what it set out to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it told a, tr a true story of some brave men, you know, and I thought that it, that it was pretty pretty good. It's just that there's no, like, twist or anything to it. It's a very straightforward story. This is what happened. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's cool. You know, it's not a big deal. Um, but I don't have any rewatch value for it. I would definitely recommend it because I think that everyone needs to kind of have reality checks sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. with all that's going on in our in our, our culture. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't we take things for granted sometimes, you know. So I oh, think yeah, we should go see these type of movies and we should support these type of movies so that, you know, that those people can get the recognition that they that they deserve. Mm -hmm. If I had to rate it, I'm gonna give it a three out of five stars. Three out of five stars. Alright. What are you what are you thinking here? Uh right out of the gate, I'm just gonna give it a rating of five out of five stars. Um 
and the reason I, I'm giving it like the perfect score Ooh, was because it, I really love this movie, and for me, this director, uh, Joseph, is doing so good in creating or recreating and reenacting these true life events that happen. You know, he has a way of uh, putting you in the position of, you know, uh, this main character or following the different characters and then the events leading up to the, you know, climax and the highlight of the movie and what it is, you know. So it, he, he has just a way of choosing the right actors, especially for these roles. They really represent who these actual characters are and at the end of the movie, um, and most of his movies, they actually show actual pictures of those people that had, you know, uh, served or passed away or, or in, in this you know movie the firefighters it showed pictures of them and their families and their ages you know we got a lot of young guys just like us you know in their yeah. 20s and 30s yeah. and um, you know it, it, it really for me put it into perspective like you mentioned you know it really made me appreciate you know where I'm at in my life and what I'm doing with myself and um, you know how these guys are you know same age and where they're at and you know, we got plenty of guys just like that that are, you know, genuine heroes, you know, and putting themselves in the line so that they can save the rest of our homes and everything that we work hard for, you know. Right. And we, we offer, you know, them gratitude. We, we need to give them the respect that they deserve, you know, for this. So, I mean, it, it does a lot, this movie, uh, to me. And that's why, I, for me, uh, the way that it all played out, um, cinematography was great. I love the shots that they took out in the wilderness. It was really beautiful, and it just really did it for me. All right. I mean, I I, I definitely agree with everything that you said. You know, I I don't mean to make it sound like it's a bad movie. Mm -hmm. It's just that maybe if someone was telling you a story, it's a true story. Right. So if someone's telling you a true story, there's some stories that are true that are more interesting than others. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I'm gauging it on is just the actual uh, how much interest I had in it. You know, sure. like what I want to see it all over again. So I don't want to make it seem like it was a bad movie at all. Right. For me, there's rewatch value, but... Um, so aside from the story, how mm -hmm. was it acting for you, for every, from everybody? Was it believable? Yeah. Absolutely. Some little absolutely. cracks in there a little bit? No, you said five, so it can't be... Yeah, cracks. no, I mean, for me, it, it, it really sold me on it, you know, and I was kind of on the fence at, at some points to see, like, the, the... But we had, like, a really great character development for it, you know, and I really bought it. You know, it wasn't just like a switch, like, okay, you know, I'm going to be a hard ass throughout this whole entire movie, and then I'm going to switch it to be really sympathetic. You know, it takes you from the stages of this character, of why they are making the decisions uh, that they are and acting out in the movie, and then, you know, switching that around, why they come to it, different perspectives but that you know they what? put you in. I would have rather had actually seen it. They pretty much just kind of told us, this guy's on drugs. Mm-hmm. I mean, he smoked some weed in the movie. And you're talking about uh, Miles Sellers. Miles Seller, mm -hmm. um, which I think he does a great selection of movies, by the way. Absolutely. He's going for that Oscar. <laughs> he, he definitely is. Um, but yeah. uh, that was one of my questions. We didn't already skip the We'll get back to it. We'll get back. So, um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Uh, for Miles Teller, I mean, he... he oh, yeah. It, they pretty much just implied, you know, that he had a problem. I would have yeah. wanted to see it more. The, the drug addiction, yeah. Right. I would have wanted to see it more um, to really see his, you know, growth from A to B. He just went from kind of like lazy to motivated. And, I mean, anyone could have done that. I would have wanted to actually see him do whatever drugs he was on. Um, and then the same thing for um, Josh Brolin's character. I would have wanted to see, you know, his issues that, uh, you know, he goes through. You know, yeah. so, I, I don't know. I, I, that's only thing I can really say that kind of took it away uh, as far as the acting I thought that um, Jennifer Con Connelly 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 yeah I thought that she um, the first time she kind of like got emotional was a little you know, she should have retake maybe did a retake but when they're in the car and you know she's yelling at him uh, her husband and she's just like you're supposed to change. Right. You're not supposed to stay the same. I, you've changed me. She was really in that moment. Oh, man, she, she, that was she, so she, good. She really owned it. Like, uh, when, you you know, they they have these discussions or quarrels, you know, these couples, and you really get the sense that she really put herself, like, in that role at that very moment just because it was very impactful. Yeah, it seemed like she'd gone through that before, mm -hmm. and uh, she was just bringing that all back out. Right. Um, I thought, so I thought that, that it was pretty good there. I... The horses, I don't know if I really cared about too much. I thought that that was just a kind of side story that we didn't... It didn't do anything for as far as the art of the whole 
uh, storyline, but um, I guess they have to give her something to do, not just be a housewife. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, that's another thing. Is is, is what is, is true, true and yeah. what isn't true? It, it's it's based on true events, you know. So I mean, you know, depicting you know what it is, you know. Right. So I mean, they're in Arizona on a ranch. She could freaking be. I buy it. A horse <laughs> groomer, or whatever. Right. Horse rescuer. Right. Um. But yeah, there's some things that I was wondering, like, hmm, did they actually were they that close of friends? This mm-hmm. really happened. Mm-hmm. I always wondered that just because. There's been so much disproven about some of these true stories. Not necessarily the ones that he does or Joseph, but some other people, you know, the movies have been like, uh, well, there's a piece from this story, a piece from over there, a piece from over here, and then it's just like all put together, like, oh, based on the true events. Right. Like, yeah. well, did it happen at, in this particular scene or, mm-hmm. or what? You know, so I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Miles Teller, I really, you know, I remember him, the first time I, I remember seeing him was from the Maze Runner. Oh, okay. And I feel like he's come a long way. Was he in Maze Runner? Yeah, he was like the villain in the Maze Runner. Wow. Uh, he's come a long way from okay. from that. Um, was it Maze Runner? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> You're making stuff up. It was one of those <laughs> movies that's like that. There's so many movies that are like that. Sure. Maze Runner. Oh, what's the one with the uh, the girl? Um, Divergent or uh, Insurgent? Insurgent. Oh, he Divergent. was. Divergent. Divergent. Yeah, he. he in, insurgent. In, Divergent. Yeah, he was in that one. That's yeah. what he was in. Divergent. Yeah. And uh, he was in that. He's come a long way from that. I feel like. Absolutely. He, um, it's been, definitely been a step up in his career for he's, sure. He's going for that Oscar. I, I really yeah. do believe. I haven't seen the Oscar well, performance yet. I, I, I and I think I got a little glimpse of that when he did the uh, drummer movie. I think it was called like Hey. Hey, why are, uh, I, I don't really remember. I think it started like, with like H. Drummer? Yeah, yeah. He was like a drummer uh, in a band, in a choir, or chorus, or something like that. Concert hall That's type not thing. An Oscar. Um, it, you know what? It, it got nominated, and he didn't get an Oscar. But um, the other gentleman, I forgot his name, the older guy, he got an Oscar for his performance. So um, I appreciate that the role he does. The right. How does this movie compare to you're saying Lone Survivor? Right. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, with me, like, when I saw Lone Survivor, I- I'm big into action movies, but it was just so-, so much more impactful, like, actually knowing that it was, like, a based on true event and, like, seeing the people's faces uh, with the actors that they portrayed, you know, um, on screen. So, uh, what would you rate it? What is it? For, for me, it's like, mm, I-, I would say I liked it a little bit more than Deepwater Horizon. So if I had to put, uh, for me, Lone Survivor, I really like that one. What? This one's like right what? after, and then I'll, I'll put Deepwater Horizon. Well, cool. That's why I love doing these things, because we all seem to have a different opinion. We watch the same movie, but yeah. somehow we see a different movie. Right. No way that this <laughs> is better hey. than Deepwater Horizon. Deepwater Horizon was the shit. Like, it, I got it, everything it, out of that movie. It was pretty great. I'm not saying... And, and you know what? With each of those movies, may, may I say, I gave perfect stars to. I mean, they're all five-star movies. Yeah, love back it. into the, the real and see. I, I've loved every single one of them. Back into the archive and see if he gave a five out of five for all of them. You know what? I mean, just the way that I would watch them, I would probably end up watching them just like that. So what's at the top? Uh, Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor. And then this one? And then this one. And then Deep Water. Oh, Are man. You... I'm putting this one below Deep Water. Deep I'm doing... Water. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. It's a tie between Deep Water and Lone Survivor. Uh huh. Because I, I have to. I haven't rewatched uh, Deep Water Horizon, so I can't. I can't really. I, just, I haven't Me watched too. either Same. of them, so Same. I don't know. Same. But yeah. <laughs> as far I, I like them both kind of equally. And then this is going to go below those for sure. Um, I, and it's hard for me. I don't want to like, you know, take away from the essence of what the story is trying to do. Absolutely not. Because it's still a good movie. It's, it's just it's, if I had to pick. I'm gonna go with the other two, and and I might be wrong because you know what I haven't you watched are wrong. it. <laughs> I haven't watched Don't you know, it, so I'm always right. So I gotta save myself with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, but it, it's up there though. It's not like why the hell did he do this? Right, absolutely. definitely not like that. And and the only thing that this movie was actually really missing uh, was probably maybe Mark Wahlberg, <laughs> because <laughs> Mark Wahlberg managed to sneak his way into every single one of these I movies. I bet you Mark Wahlberg <laughs> turned it down. 
Yeah, probably. I think that's what it, what it. Oh god. Or that Will Ferrell movie, the funny Ooh. one. The Will Ferrell. Oh, the uh, Daddy's Home. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's. I it. like Daddy's Home though. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's our review that's our show of for today. Only the Brave. All right, guys. I'm your boy DeAnthony. Hold on. And we're Break Room Blitz. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Take a look at our other stuff we do on our page. We appreciate you, and we will see you next Tuesday. Peace. Peace.